Have you ever noticed when you work really hard to feed your body what it needs? Healthy food, proper amount of rest, exercise, that you feel so much better and that your immune system seems to be really boosted. Other people, maybe even other people in your family might get a cold or some kind of sickness and it doesn't seem to get to you. Well, that's because you're doing what you're supposed to do for your body for it to optimize everything, including a great immune system. Well, everything living has the same need. Plants, if you give them the right healthy start and keep feeding them healthfully, giving them everything they need, their immune systems are going to be boosted and they're less likely to be uh, susceptible to pest problems, fungal problems, and even viruses. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about treating your plants with good nutrition. But sometimes even our bodies get sick and we try to take preventative things to avoid that. You start to feel like you're getting a cold, you might start some Zycam. Why do you do that? As a prevention. Then if you do get sick, let's say you got the flu, what do you do? Well, you treat it then with maybe Tamiflu and still give yourself a lot of homemade chicken soup, which is naturally nutritious. So that's what we're going to talk about today with our plants. Let's boost their immune systems. Let's get them super mega healthy with some organic foliar feeding. You know, from the get-go, I work really hard to uh, make sure that my plants are going to be healthy from the beginning. First off, you need to buy your seeds from a reputable company. There are a few that I can recommend to you. Of course, most people know about rareseeds.com, Baker Creek, Heirloom Seeds. Another one that I really like is Southern Exposure Seed Exchange. And they, both of those, have proven to be really trustworthy in the seeds that I get from them. And then, of course, proper storage of your seeds. And then when you're ready to do seed starts, there's some other things that you really could, should consider doing. For example, I always soak my seeds in a solution of uh, warm water and 3% hydrogen peroxide. The reason I do that, first of all, the hydrogen peroxide chemically scarifies the seeds, which helps to break that outer seed coat to uh, get the oxygen to the embryo of the inside seed. So it will begin to grow. The other thing hydrogen peroxide does is it kills any bacteria that might be on your seeds. So I found that seed soak is a really uh, valuable tool in gardening. I make my own potting mix. I do not plant my seeds in sterile soil. I plant them in potting mix that already has nutrients in it. When I pot up my seedlings to uh, bigger pots or uh, out into their permanent homes, there's two things I use. I use a soluble mycorrhizae, just a little teaspoon of it in the bottom of the planting hole, and then I water in with compost tea. Compost tea is so super important, and having the right mix of compost that you're putting in it is also super important. That's why I use the Boogie Brew products, because they're smarter than I am at, about what they put together for making the compost tea. It's easy. I can buy one package and it'll last me for a year uh, with brewing the tea and I'm good to go. Feeding the soil is the basic of organic. However, there are ways of stimulating the natural processes in the soil and in the plant without actually putting the products in the soil. Spraying the foliage of the plant also known as foliar feeding, is a great way to add horticultural advantages to your, to your plants. Liquid fish emulsions are great fertilizers. Uh, liquid seaweed, another good one. In fact, the one that I like is actually combined. It's called Neptune's Fish and Seaweed Fertilizer. So that's one 
um, that I use. Compost tea, absolutely necessary in my opinion. Huge boosts with using compost tea. Molasses, the darker molasses you can get, the better. Blackstrap molasses is a little bit hard to find, but if you find it, that's the absolute best, but I just have a dark molasses. And then apple cider vinegar. Now I'm gonna show you a concoction. It's called Garrett Juice. Howard Garrett is the man that came up with this. And it is the ultimate foliar feed in my opinion. If I don't have time or I haven't taken the time to brew my compost tea, because it does take about 24 hours to brew it, then I will just use the Neptune's fish and seaweed fertilizer and use that as a foliar feed. Now, another thing, don't just do a foliar feed because you don't want those roots to get lazy. So drenching the roots is important too. Every two weeks, here's what I'm doing. I'm foliar spraying, foliar feed on the leaves early in the morning. That is the best time to, to spray. I've talked about this many times on, on the Facebook pages, but the majority of the stoma, stomata, on the leaves are on the underneath side of the leaves and the stems. They will close up um, in the heat of the day. So early morning and even a humid day is a good day to spray your foliar spray. In addition to the foliar spray every two weeks, I turn around and also do a root drench. I've shown in a video before how to make the Garrett juice, but I'm going to show you again real quickly. And we're going to add something else to our Garrett juice mixture because it is a natural fungicide. This natural fungicide is horticultural cornmeal. You can actually apply the cornmeal uh, straight to the soil, and it's a bit of a fertilizer too. But the way I am doing it is I am making a juice with the cornmeal. I have added a gallon of water to a bucket, and inside a, a piece of pantyhose, I have put one cup of my cornmeal, and I'm letting it soak for 30 minutes. Okay, so here is my cornmeal in my little hose. I've been soaking in a gallon of water now for a good 30 minutes. You can see how milky it is. So what I'm going to do now is carefully try to pour this in my sprayer through a strainer. Try to capture any of those little particles of cornmeal that might have gotten loose. Because it will stop up your spray. And you can see there's a little stuff. Here's what we've got. We've got one cup of compost tea. To that we're going to add one ounce of molasses, one ounce of apple cider vinegar, and then one ounce of our Neptune's fish and seaweed fertilizer. The compost tea is your biological activity. The apple cider vinegar is going to add trace minerals. The fish and seaweed fertilizer has a ton of nutrients and the seaweed also has uh, growth stimulator capabilities in it. And lastly, the molasses is going to stimulate the biological activity in the whole mix. You're going to see us repeat using molasses even with our fungicides. <clears throat> now to our sprayer where I have my cornmeal juice. I'm just going to add my Garrett juice in there into that gallon. If I wasn't using the cornmeal juice, I would add the Garrett juice mixture to a gallon of just water. Shake it up real well, and we are ready to spray. Light mists are more beneficial with foliar feeding. Anytime you're doing a foliar feed, you want to be sure and hit the new growth because it's 
going to take it up better than the older leaves at the bottom. I mean, do it all, but make sure you hit the top ones. 